this shipping container is 12 meters long. That's almost as long as a bus. But to move a shipping container this big, we're going to need a shipping crane. And they are huge. Along here, there are 15 shipping cranes and they all help to move the containers off the ship. Look, can you see that? There's one up there. Wow, it goes so high up. The cranes grab and lift the containers onto the quayside. Once the shipping containers are on land, these enormous trucks called straddle cars move the containers into this area called the terminal. Just look at it! It's like a giant robot dog! Next, a truck called a reach stacker stores the shipping containers on top of each other. It's like building a tower out of monster stacking bricks. It is busy work. Next, we need to get the containers from the terminal over here to the rail cart that's just over there. But how are we going to do that? We need this, a gantry crane. Let's take a closer look at this one. The gantry crane looks like a bridge sitting on two tracks, like train tracks. This part is called the cross-travel lorry. Hanging from the cross-travel lorry is the cab. This is where the driver sits. When the driver presses a button in the cab and moves the joystick, the cross-travel lorry will move forwards and backwards along the track. When the driver presses another button, the crane moves across from left to right. Underneath the cross-travel lorry, there is a big metal drum, which has eight steel ropes wrapped around. At the end of the steel ropes, there is a special frame called a spreader, like a big crab paw. The driver unwinds the ropes and lowers the spreader over the shipping container. It fits on perfectly. The driver presses a switch, which locks the spreader onto the shipping container to make sure it's safe to move. Then the driver moves a joystick to wind up the steel ropes and the shipping container moves across and along the track. The driver presses another button and the steel ropes unwind. The shipping container is lowered safely onto the rail cart, ready to move onto the next place. That was amazing. I've bought my special camera and I'm going to attach it to this container so we can see what it looks like when this gets lifted from here, the terminal, up and over there to the rail cart. Okay, let's go. Whoa, look at it go up. And I'm going up there to see it all in action. Look, I've also put a special camera in the driver's cab. Can you see how high up he is? It's like the driver's in a fishbowl in the sky, <laughs> looking down at all the containers below. Can you see how the steel ropes are being wound up to lift the container higher and higher? Next, as the driver pushes the joystick forward, the container moves forward too, over there onto the rail cart. These containers can weigh about 30 tonnes. That's the same as about 20 family cars, but that's no problem for a gantry crane. Oh. The container is nearly on the rail cart. All it needs to do now is line up the four corner pins of the cart with the pins on the container. And listen carefully. Clunk as the container lands on the cart. 
brilliant. The shipping containers are now ready to be delivered across country on the back of a train. I think shipping containers are amazing. What was your favourite bit about seeing how shipping containers work? Can you remember the name of the big trucks that looked like giant robot dogs? They're called straddle cars. Did you like the sound the shipping container made as it fixed onto the rail cars? And did you see how high the shipping container went when it was picked up by the gantry crane?